be making bases. All right, so in this lecture, what we're going to be doing is covering how to add a menu. Okay, so we did some different things to, to, to actually create your sections and anchor each section to the menu. But as you can see, I don't see a menu right here at all, right? So how are we going to add the menu? So we're going to go over how to add the menu, how to customize the menu, and also how to, um, you know, adjust the size of these different sections. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Um, the first thing you want to do to add the menu is go to add and actually you're going to be able to scroll right down here till you see menu okay once you do that you can pretty much choose from these different templates and then adjust them from there okay now since we're doing a one pager we're not going to want to use these vertical menus we're going to use want to use the, the the horizontal ones okay and you could pretty much use any of these. I, I, like I could come up and bring this menu in here and it would look like this, which is kind of cool. You know, you got the buttons right here. Um, you can come over here and you can adjust the length of the menu by using those little guys. The main thing too is you want to make sure when you're adjusting things, you see how you have these lines right here. These lines are there to help you. So you don't want to have like the, the menu off centered. So like, you know, you have like this big, huge space right here. No, you want to have, if you have a little bitty space right here, you want to create that same little bitty space over here so that, you know, the main that, so this thing will actually be in line. And as you can see, as you move it up or down, it kind of locks it in place in the middle. I don't necessarily like the buttons, but uh, you can do that if you wanted to. I'm going to do a, something different on mine. Because this is a, it, this is going to be a, my, a live site that I'm creating for myself, and I'm actually going to use this. Start off with this, 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 this menu right here. Something simple. We're going to center it by moving over here until we see the line right here in the middle, and we're actually going to make this a little bit bigger, like that. Now, as you can see, those words are kind of super small. So I'm just gonna double click here, or just click once time, and then you can see this right here, this little paintbrush. That's what you wanna click on to edit the menu. So once you click on that paintbrush, this, but this little box is gonna come up, and you'll just click on Customize Design, okay? So some of the main things you're gonna to wanna to customize is the text and your fill and opacity colors, your fill colors. So your text is self-explanatory you'll click on that and you'll go to the font and you'll change it but I actually like the basic font right there I'm gonna get it's gonna make it bigger we'll do it to like about yeah 40 41 you can also come in here and double click and then change it that way but yeah I'm gonna do it like this pretty simple real bold stuff I mean I can always come in here and change it later to a different font or whatever if I don't like it but the main thing I want to focus on here is like your hover color so like your fill color um, on this one right now they have they just have the backdrop um, white you know but um, main thing is the hover color. So like basically whenever you hover over it, what color is it gonna turn, change into? I like blue, I'm just gonna select the blue right here. And say if you wanna customize blue, you just push um, the little plus button right here and then you can come over here and customize how the blue is gonna look, okay? But that in a nutshell is the basis of creating the menu. You just wanna go over to add and bring it over and then again, you can use these little, these little bubbles the effect how big or small it is and then you can you can use these little lines you saw how you saw that little pink line to make sure that you're centered up and stuff like that so again you want to make sure that that's 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 centered if you want to affect the size of your um, actual sections you just click on it and then you see this little button this little thing right here this little arrow you want to pull that down or up to make the section taller or shorter Okay, so we're going to mess around with that a little bit. We'll do this like this. This is going to be the beat store here. So that's going to be a pretty a pretty big section. Licensing info. That would be um, a moderately sized uh, section as well. And then contact. It doesn't have to be that 
rigorous, but um, and then the best thing you want to do here is just continue to save after you do everything. All right. And then preview as well after you make the changes. So you can see what it will look like live. So when you go to preview mode, I can go over here now and see how, okay, wow. Okay. Hovers over the colors here. Cool. So like then you can check and see, okay, is this anchored to the right section? So licensing info, boom, you scroll back up contact, boom. And you see, you see, so you just want to make sure that the site is operation operating like it's supposed to. So we'll go back to the editor, but that's that in a nutshell. Again, you can come in here and change the font. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything I'm doing. This is your site, but just make sure you keep the things simple. Okay. Don't try to do, do it too crazy. Okay. Like you don't want to have like some type of cursive letters that people can barely read and see what it is. You don't want any confusion, okay? But as you can see though, it can completely change the look of the store or the site just by changing out the, uh, you know, the font. So, but you wanna find a font you like and switch it out and customize it and all that type of stuff. But this, this is how you add your menu in here and, um, and, and everything, okay? So let's go to the next lecture. We'll be continuing the process.